saying Fresno has a gun control problem? I believe they do. I believe we do. A deadly crime wave, the likes Fresno rarely sees. 22 homicides this year, five just this last week. The new police chief, Paco Baldarama, points to a lack of resources in his first one-on-one -on -one interview since the arrest of the suspected killer who gunned down a beloved Fresno street vendor. Chief Baldarama opens up about the arrest and why gun control is out of control in Fresno. I'm taking this risk because I see there is a lot of a lot of good that can come from uh, this this type of industry. The way from the major league mound to getting into the game of selling marijuana legally. Former Bulldog Matt Garza, just one of dozens looking to score one of the first dispensaries in Fresno. Why he believes pot shops can become a pot of gold for the city of Fresno. And our panel ready to weigh in on some of the biggest issues facing our state and country. From the heated debate on gun control and immigration to Governor Newsom's nomination for the new top cop in California. Welcome to Sunday. It's KC24 Sunday Morning Matters. Now, from your local election headquarters, KC24, this is Sunday Morning Matters with your host, Alexan Balakian. And good Sunday morning to you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alexan Balakian. Please join the conversation on Twitter and Facebook at Real Alexan. Use the hashtag Sunday Morning Matters. Along the way, some new insight to the first potential high profile Democrat who's considering a run on the recall ballot. But first, it's been a horrific week of deadly violence from a grocery store in Boulder to the streets of Fresno, thrusting the gun debate back into the spotlight. This violence has created an enormous amount of fear and pain within our community. Fear in our neighborhoods, people who are afraid to go outdoors. National Mayor Jerry Dyer on Monday following the unspeakable execution style killing of a beloved Fresno street vendor, Lorenzo Perez, the father of four who was working when the shooter approached him and shot him in the head. A GoFundMe page set up by city leaders has now raised more than $150,000 as of Friday. The suspect, 18-year-old Demarcus Vega, arrested on Thursday. This killing began a string of homicides in the city. Less than three months into the new year, and there's already 22 murders compared to only five this time last year. And on Monday, more bloodshed, a massacre in Boulder, Colorado. A lone gunman walked into a grocery store and killed 10 people, including a police officer who was the first on the scene. The suspect used an AR-15. It was modified with an arm brace. He purchased it just six days prior to the shooting. I don't need to wait another minute, let alone an hour, to take common sense steps that will save the lives in the future and to urge my colleagues in the House and Senate to act. We can ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines in this country once again. President Biden not wasting any time in calling on Congress to pass stricter gun laws. Question is, will Biden use his executive powers on gun control? On Friday, I sat down with Fresno Police Chief Paco Balderrama in his first one-on-one -on -one since the arrest and that the crime wave in this city has run rampant. Chief, thanks for sitting down with me. Um, I couldn't imagine the weight you're feeling this week. We've had five shootings, five murders in five days this week. You have now 22 homicides as of Friday. Um, what is it that is the weight on your shoulders at this point with this type of crime rate? Mm -hmm. Well, um, the, the weight of my shoulders is just, um, you know, I was brought in to uh, bring about positive changes and also to um, lower violent crime. I mean, that is the biggest issue for me right now. I've been asked by several um, individuals and news organizations what my priorities are. And, and as I said on the day that I was announced, it's, it's to make this community safe and build community trust. But it's even more difficult to try to accomplish that with so few police officers. So is it frustrating? Yeah. Do I lose sleep over it? Yes, I do, because I want people in this community to feel safe, and, and they deserve to feel safe. You talk about less officers. 
Is it a personnel issue, or is this more of not enough money coming in? I know that there was $210 million that was allotted by City Council back in November of mm -hmm. 2020. The COVID relief funds, we understand that City Council may approve uh, $30 million now as it was swapped out mm -hmm. to, from Beautify of Fresno. Is that enough money to get the department where it needs to be? I think it's going to help tremendously. And one of the encouraging things is that uh, the mayor, uh, the city manager, the city council, they're all supportive of what we're trying to do at the police department. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the issue is more complicated than that. We went through a period of time where the police department, being in, in law enforcement was not something that was as appreciated as, as it has been in the past. Mm -hmm. So our efforts, uh, especially in our recruiting unit, is to try to go out there and find, uh, find qualified candidates who want to do this job. And that's something that's very difficult to do. So that and resources, obviously, that, that, that hurts us as well. If we want to attract people from, the, from this, all over the Central Valley and really uh, all over the state of California, we have to be an attractive police department. So do you need more money in order to do that? Sure. Uh, we need more money in order to add positions. Because there was a time here in Fresno where there was a call to defund the police. Mm -hmm and put some of that money in community policing. Yeah, what I'm finding out is that we don't have enough police officers to answer to the basic 911 calls. So that concept is, is uh, unrealistic, very mm -hmm. unrealistic. Are you going to ask for more money? I am going to ask for more money. I've, I've made it very public that uh, we need additional police officers, that we need additional resources uh, in order to properly police the city. Have you narrowed that down to a dollar amount? Uh, I have not. Mm -hmm. uh, I've narrowed it down to a position amount. And uh, ideally speaking, um, uh, the city of Fresno needs about 950 police officers. And That's you have what about 705 right now? I have 705 actual police officers mm -hmm. on paper. I have um, uh, 838. Uh, the mayor in this budget year has committed to uh, bumping us up to 850, which is going to help. Mm -hmm. uh, but we we, we got to get there. But uh, Alexon, it's it's not just the numbers on paper. Mm -hmm. Even if if they gave me the 950 tomorrow, mm -hmm. it would take me about three and a half years to find those bodies. I want to get to the 18-year-old Demarcus Vega that was arrested. Uh, your detectives did some great police work there. Um, and you mentioned that. You also mentioned that you may possibly have the murder weapon. Mm -hmm. How confident are you that that is the murder weapon? And Demarcus Vega, you say he confessed. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I didn't say that he confessed. Uh, he gave information at, uh, that put him there at the crime scene. Mm -hmm. uh, they gave us more than enough information to say that he is a shooter, and we believe that he is a shooter. So you're confident about that? I'm 100% confident. 100%? 100% confident, yeah. President Biden called for Congress mm -hmm. to ban assault rifles, stricter background checks that we actually have in California, mm -hmm. but we still have a lot of gun violence here in Fresno. Um, and there are loopholes. Um, do you support banning assault rifles? You know, I, I support um, getting a handle on the gun issue. And uh, the, uh, the Second Amendment is a right that, you know, law-abiding citizens have. Mm -hmm. And I support that right uh, to owning legal firearms. Mm -hmm. But what, what I am seeing is that there are way too many firearms in this community that are in the hands of gang members, in the hands of convicted felons, mm -hmm. people that should not have these firearms to begin with. We have ghost guns uh, that can be uh, shipped in from other, other states and put together here. So the availability of guns in this community is way, way too high. And so you're saying Fresno has a gun control problem. I believe they do. I believe we do. As Governor Newsom made um, a choice that has been controversial mm -hmm. about the new state attorney general, the new top cop, for the state, of course, he has to be approved by the assembly in the state mm -hmm. senate, and that is Rob Bonta, mm -hmm. and he supported zero dollar bail. He also supports more investigations into police deadly force. Mm -hmm. Where is your position on this? Are you concerned mm -hmm. about those things? Well, I don't know, Mr. Bonta, myself, and I have not done the research, so uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to say. Uh, speak on anything I don't, I don't know, uh, I don't have a whole lot of information about. Mm -hmm. uh, my concerns are, are this, um, uh, zero bail I believe has hurt this community. Mm -hmm. And uh, when police officers are going out there working very, very hard, 
to capture dangerous felons and put them in jail uh, just to find out that they can get out uh, just a few hours later and commit another violent act. Uh, that's, that's not working. That's a broken system. And I realized that we had COVID to contend with this last year. But as, uh, you know, as we get a handle on this pandemic, uh, we should make the right choices to make this community safe. I want to finish with this, that embrace you had with Mrs. Perez. Um, tell me about it. A very proud moment, but a very sad moment for me. Mm -hmm. But I, I believe that family appreciated it. Uh, I wish I could bring their dad back. I, I, I wish that that's what I could you know, do for them, but obviously I can't do that. But at the very least, we can try to bring them some closure and some justice. And um, without a doubt, the, the proudest moment uh, that I've had in my short time here in Fresno. Chief, thank you for your time. Thank you.